Hi, Sarap. Just getting ready for our webinar coming up soon. I was wondering, would you like to share with the people a little bit more about what data security risks Salesforce customers should think about and address? What do you think? Doug, I'm glad you asked this question. This is an area where I've seen that a lot of customers are not very aware of all the kind of capabilities that Salesforce offers them. So it boils down to three areas when you think about data security. The first and foremost is you don't want to have a lot of information that is obsolete. Obsolete in old data is a liability. So data retention, first and foremost, is something to think about. You may have a retention policy. In a lot of regions, it is the law, I believe, including in Australia and New Zealand. So you want to have a retention policy and you want to make sure anything that, that's lived its useful life, where you don't have a lawful basis to keep it around, you securely dispose it. You can delete it. You can mask it. We have products in this space. A bunch of other vendors do. But you definitely want to meet your retention policies and ensure that you minimize the impact in the case of any data incident. That's the very first foundational step. The second part of this is you control where your real customer data percolates to. Where else can it go to? This is a significant gap in some of the largest enterprises in the world today because you have a production org and you have, say, four full copy sandboxes and three partial, you have seven copies of this data that are flying around, right? Every time you create a new sandbox, you refresh them, all of your customer information, PII, PHI, financial data, social security numbers, driver's license, passport, depending on the nature of business and what you're doing with Salesforce, this information is now in seven places where you need to protect it. And if you didn't do retention, you may have 17 years of this information in seven places. So it's a problem that compounds itself. And what you want to do there is you want to look at data masking. Data masking is where you basically replace real data with realistic data and you dramatically reduce that risk. So in your seven sandboxes, you now have data which is effectively fake data. So you have dramatically reduced the surface area of attack in case of any incident, you have made sure that your customers are protected, their information is protected, your brand trust is protected. So that's the second area. The third area to think about is more from a contractual and a legal perspective. If you have requirements to ensure that your data is encrypted at rest and your organization owns and handles that encryption key, then you look at something like a shield encryption. And that would ensure that you have the ability to encrypt data at rest and you can manage your own key. So those are the three facets I think about. Just reduce the amount of data you are processing and storing. Great return on investment there. You don't have to pay extra storage. Dramatically reduce your risks there. Reduce the amount of real data that is getting multiplied and spread around your org. You want to contain it to your prod and treat everything else with dummy data, test environment, training environment, development environment, so on. And of course, the third is if you have a need for very sophisticated encryption at rest and where you manage the keys, then you look at shield encryption. So that's the spectrum of it. That's great, Saurabh. I totally agree with that. And I think the a lot of people forget about the retention because I think retention actually is quite a key thing there because if you don't need it, you shouldn't be storing it. It just reduces the risk for everyone. Absolutely. And I forget to mention earlier, we actually do data masking. It's a free product, 100% native on Salesforce. You can mask unlimited number of records across any four objects in any number of sandboxes forever. That's an amazing deal. So hopefully people will come along to the webinar and learn a little bit more from us about how you can protect your Salesforce data. And thanks for your conversation this morning, Saurabh. Absolutely. Thank you, Doug.